Hi, I'm gluing uh, pieces of walnut on the ends of the, uh, this board. I've used uh, dominoes for this joint to stiffen it up a little bit. And when it's dry, I'm going to take more walnut and encapsulate this in other walnut. I'm trying to put some pressure on our glue joint. And even though I have two antique um, clamps like this, that uh, are pretty long, they're just not long enough. Anytime I've been uh, situated with this particular uh, predicament, I've used wedges. And I learned this uh, doing a fair amount of boat work at a friend's uh, shop. He had a wooden boat uh, business. Uh, repair and uh, I was a high school teacher and a few summers I worked there uh, doing boat work and we've always used wedges but whenever we wanted a steam bend or uh, get something a long piece locked into another piece so underneath this piece is, is sandpaper so it doesn't move and I have some really heavy clamps on there I'm using type on uh, glue because it's um, it has a longer open time and quite honestly I've already pulled this together really tightly um, and started letting it dry but I thought we would show this process so I cut two wedges and I'm putting them in and now I'm just going to kind of tap each wedge And that puts a lot of pressure on the joint, pulling it together. It's always been a good technique. I've used this wedges for lots of different things. Sometimes for thin pieces of wood where you can get a clamp, you can put small wedges. It's a, it's a powerful tool.